Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashala, Kohalo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechachodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say, the water toward you, Aki, man, Akwa. Let's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of your ability. Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And this guy right here, he was in my comment board. Um, on a lesson and then I noticed that he put in you know he, he has this title of this lesson supposedly that he just done you know and I so I you know I'm looking at you know his comment it's all weird you know and then he puts in one comment goofy and I'm not even sure what he's even talking about if if he's saying I'm goofy or if you know the lesson was goofy or whatever you know so I go to his um page to see what's up I think he's got about yeah he has these 41 subscribers and then I notice he has GMS remnant say 144 is a devil who blasphemes the Holy Spirit. And you know, that's the um, the dearly beloved um, elder out in um, Dallas, you know, um, the GMS camp. And um, I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like this dude, <laughs> hey, but you can see his face, man. Hey, th these scriptures, this truth, it has these Edomites bugging the hell out. Now he's using, you know, he's all over the place. He's bumbling. He's saying Yahweh Shai, and then he's saying um, Yeshua. He's just, the guy's all over the place. Well, let's get some of the video, and I'm going to go off into some of what he's talking about, because he's basically talking about um, what the brother, i seen the video before, too, um, the brother brought out about Joseph being the father of Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? That he came through the seed line of David's, um, David's seed line, which he did. You know what I'm saying? There's no such thing as uh, uh, Mary got pregnant by the Holy Ghost or got pregnant by the father, like the father wasn't leaving his throne to come down here and have no sex with no woman and commit adultery with a, <laughs> with a brother's wife. You see what I'm saying? Or, or the Holy Spirit or no angels because the angels have a different body set. The, the scriptures talks about um, terrestrial bodies and um, basically spiritual bodies and carnal bodies. They're not capable of having no sex, man. You see, these these wacky tacky Christians, they you know, they make people think that, oh, the the uh the giants they had, you know what I'm saying, sex with women and all this other crazy crap. It's not in the scriptures, man. You see what I'm saying? But Joseph is of the seed line of David as well. Joseph was Yahweh Shai's father, man. But basically, let's get some of this though real quick. And I've done videos on this uh, before this particular subject. So let's just see what he's talking about. I kind of went into it a little bit. I may cue back up or whatever. I think that's the damn parking patrol guy. If he comes up here, I'm going to have to <sighs> move around. Anyhow, so in this video, he's doing the same thing, trying to make it that Joseph is Yahweh Shai's father. Blasphemy. Pure, simple blasphemy. Yahweh Shai was born of the Holy Spirit. That's why he's the only begotten son. And so this time, you know, a lot of times they go into the seed line. Oh, the seed, he came from the loins of David. The seed line of David and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let me pause him there. Now, we all, you know, see, you have to be practical about the scriptures, man. Now, ask yourself. Let's go to Matthew chapter 1. Now, this says the ancestors, the ancestors of Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach. Now, if you read through this, it goes from, you know, the book of the generations of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, the son of David. The son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. Then you get, you know, it goes all the way through his lineage. All his great, 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 great grandfathers. Right? And then all of a sudden it gets to him. It doesn't matter now. You know, the scripture says that he would come from the seed line of David. And that word seed in the Greek, it means sperma. It says sperma. What do you think sperm is? What do you think seed is? The Lord is not the author of confusion, man. You know, that, that word virgin, see, see, people, they, 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 America has a, a real fucked up way of, of, you know, their dictionary as far as words. 
That's why it's important to look into Greek and that's why it's important to look into the Hebrew of what words mean. It just means that she was a young, marriageable, she was of a young, marriageable age, a virgin, a maiden. You see what I'm saying? See, but America tell you, oh, well, she was a virgin. She was never touched by man. Now, what Mary did tell the angel was, you know, that she never known man. But what did the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit basically overshadowing her. That's what happened. The Holy Spirit overshadowed her and Joseph. Where they, they, who knows? It doesn't give you all the description. You know what I'm saying? You can only imagine what could have possibly happened in a few scenarios. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, they, hey, Joseph popped her before they had the ceremony. Now, if you understand the ceremony of, um, you know, what was going on back there, back then in the ancient days, what they would give is they would give you a token. Matter of fact, let me see if I can find it real quick. Token of um, the marriage, basically. Let me see. Uh, maybe it was tokens. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Deuteronomy 22 and 15. Now, this was the law. So. Mary could have been put to death because they because she didn't have these particular tokens. You see what I'm saying? And that was pretty much the reason why Joseph was saying that he was going to put her away. He was going to put her away privately. Now, this is one of the, you know, normally a ceremony. Deuteronomy 22 and 15. Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring. Matter of fact, let me start up some because this is the basically the night of the, the ceremony or wedding, so to speak. It says regulations for sexual purity. Verse 13. If any man take a wife and go in unto her and hate her. Now, this was the purpose. Joseph didn't hate her, but this was to keep a nigga from just hitting your daughter and saying, oh, you know what? She wasn't a virgin and this, that and the third, you know, because, if, you know, there was a lot put into marriages back in the day or, you know, people getting together. But sex constituted marriage, man. It says and, a and give occasion of speech against her and bring up an evil name upon her. And say, I took this woman, and when I came to her, I found her not a maid, which means I found her not a virgin, you know? Okay, it says, then shall the father of the damsel and her mother take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. So it was a token. It, it basically, it, it would be like this cloth or what today would be like a sheet. And when the man would break the, the woman's hymen, she would, you know, bleed on that, that you know, on that on that sheet and then her parents would take that sheet basically fold it up and keep it that was proof that she was a virgin when they was they gave her away and and mary didn't have that because joseph and mary had already had sex that's all that it was man it's a simple understanding it says and the damsel's father shall, sh shall say unto the elders i gave my daughter unto this man to wife and he hateth her and lo he had the given occasions of speech against her, saying, I found not thy daughter a maid, and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity, and they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. And that, that was the, the basic thing. You know, that was a, a, a custom back then. So people act as if the Holy Spirit can't overshadow. The Holy Spirit overshadowed many people in the scriptures. Samson. <laughs> I mean, uh, mo I mean, you name it, man. It, it was it was multiple people in the scriptures where where the Holy Spirit came upon them and had them do things. It wasn't like the Holy Spirit came down and 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 penetrated Mary. That don't even make no damn sense, man. But let's um let's go back into a little bit more of what he's saying. And I'm praying that you know what I'm saying. This is um edifying. You know, I, I don't want to mix nobody up, but you you, you know it, it's a longer lesson. But if you, if you get into the history of this thing, you'll know what's up. You see what I'm saying? Now, he's going to use a, a, a scripture that's in the book of Luke. He's going to let me see if I can get that real quick before we go further. I think it's Luke 2. I might be wrong. I may have to wait a sec. Let's see here. Uh, where is it at? Uh, it was basically when he was 12 years old and he, he got, he stayed back on that journey and they had to go, they, they had to go back and, um, 
they had to go back and find him basically uh, oh yeah it was 2 and 42 Salakia and when he was 12 years old this is Luke 2 and 42 and when he was 12 years old oh matter of fact let me go into it because it's going to actually say that Joseph is his father okay um, it says when he was 12 years old they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast and when they had fulfilled the days as they returned, the child Yahweh Shai tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew, knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolks and, and, and acquaintances. So they're looking for him. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions and all her and all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when he saw and when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, son, check it out. Why hast thou dealt? Why? Why has thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. See, so she 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 clearly said, hey, thy father. In me, he ain't saying, you know, uh, well, it, you know, whatever, your stepdad or whatever. No, nah, no, nah, Joseph was the, the father of Yahweh Shai, man. You see what I'm saying? But this is what this guy's using. He's like, that's bullshit. He used that scripture and <laughs> that's not what that means. But I'm a, I'm a, I want to pull another point. Let's get some more of his video, though. The seed line of David and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Because when you have, when Yahweh Shai was Solomon, Solomon came out of David's sperm. He wasn't born of the Holy Spirit. He was born of David. That was the seed line. Now, the thing of it is, you know, this guy's listening to the videos because he's calling on the name Yahweh Shai. But he's, you know, he he said Yeshua a few times. He's just kind of like, ah, well, you know, but you can tell he's saying Salakia. You don't hear nobody say Salakia, which means forgive me or forgive you know, um, in Paleo Hebrew, what the Hebrew Israelites, man. So this guy, he's obsessed because I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, I've seen this. He be, he got a lot of shorts on YouTube, and I'm thinking like I've seen this guy before. But he's always he's going into these rants. He hates the Hebrew Israelites, though, man. Let's get some more. But Yahweh, when he came back to save us, he was no fucking ordinary man. Salakia. He was no ordinary man. That's why he was able to redeem us. He was the father coming in the flesh. He was the only begotten. See, how do you, he's the father coming in the flesh. No, he was sent by the father, man. There's plenty of scriptures that where Yahweh Shai is clearly stating that him and the father are separate, man. So this guy's all mixed up, man. And that's another thing with Christianity that they teach that, you know, uh, well, uh, uh, not all of them, not all sects of them. But you have sects of them that teach that God came down from the throne. And, and, and went into a lady's belly, you know, after supposedly having sex with whatever, man. Just a bunch of craziness, man. <laughs> Let's get some more. Human that actually <clears throat> wasn't born of a woman. That's the beauty of Jesus or Yeshua. See? See? Look at him. He said Jesus or Yeshua. Then he was just saying Yahweh Shai just a few seconds back. So that lets you know this guy's bugged out, man. He's all over the place, man. And and, and this, hey, th this truth is really, really keeping these Edomites from having sleep. Now, who knows? This guy, he could be a Jake. I don't know. But all I know is, is if, if, with the doctrine that he's pushing right now, he's going to be destroyed, man. If he is an Israelite, he don't repent. But if he's an Edomite, he's going into slavery. And for these guys to say otherwise, it's just, I, 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 I just call them straight liars now. Liar. Liar. Blasphemer. <laughs> Someone's got to stand up. I don't hear anyone. Not even Vocab Malone is bothering, and I'm going to have to ask him what. No, Vocab Malone been trying his hardest. He's been getting cut. Everywhere he goes, he's getting cut. He's getting cut. Vocab Malone been trying and trying and trying and trying and trying, and he has been getting cut all the way up, man. So, <laughs> just like this guy's getting cut. Why aren't you calling him out on this? Because he's he he knows that religion really well, but he's not he never brings that up. It's like makes me kind of wonder 
Is he part of the whole little play that they have going here? These, <laughs> oh, these sons of bitches, man. So, so I came in. I'm gonna pour me some coffee. By the way, what thanks for being here. I appreciate um, you following the Lord and following the truth. Um, I went to you. I went to my local church with my friend this weekend, and um, okay. But anyway, you 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 get it. But let me go to another scripture though, because for him to say, now, the same angel that came to Mary was the same angel that let's matter of fact, let's get it that came to um Zechariah with John the Baptist, Elizabeth, basically. And this right here, it says, the birth of John the Baptist foretold, verse 5. There was, in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia, and his wife was the daughter of, of, Aaron's, of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before Yahweh, walking in all the commandments and ordinance of the Lord, blameless. And see that right there, is a, 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 that lets you know that you can walk before the Lord blameless, man. There's people in the scriptures, man, that walk before the Lord blameless, man. Now, do we go off or do we sin? Of course, you know what I'm saying? But that, you know, the Lord, you know, hey, <laughs> you repent and you get back up and you keep it moving, man. You don't just stay waddling in it, man. Uh, uh, you be remorseful about it. You know when you've made a mistake when... When you how about Shimmy was is dealing with you. Lord, I messed up on that. For real. You see what I'm saying? But so a lot of people, they just, eh, another lesson, man. It says, and they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before Yahweh in the order of, of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel. See, now the same thing is about to happen to him that happened to Mary. So you can say that John the Baptist was born of the Holy Spirit, that he was born of a virgin birth. Basically, it says, and there appeared unto him an angel of the long standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from the mother's womb. So he's filled with the, with, with the, the Holy Ghost straight from the mother's womb. So does that mean that? He, he, he was born of a virgin birth, or was he born of the Holy Spirit like Yahweh Shai was, which the world eagerly calls Jesus? You could compare that same thing, because like I said again, there were instances where the Holy Spirit overshadowed people. And, and, and basically, I mean, hey, that goes on right now today with the brothers that's in the truth. The Holy Spirit gives us the, uh, what we need to do these lessons, to go forth and, and travel certain places and say certain things at certain times. And brothers can back each other up, you know what I'm saying? It's not like the Holy Spirit can't work, man. What, what, I mean, it's like, what? what, what? <laughs> Come on. It says, and, and many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the, to the wisdom of the just to make ready the people prepared for the Lord. Let me see. Now, this is the point right here. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am old, for I am an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of Yahweh, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to thee, and to show thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. Let me see, let me get to the point here. Uh Twenty three. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration, which, you know, that was the, that's the services of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shadda. They talks about in Romans nine and four that because um, he had the, uh, uh, he was of the line of Levi, um, um, the Levites, Aaron, Moses. He was of that line, man. So he was able to go in. That was his job. That was the only people that could go in there and perform the services of the Lord was the Levites, man. You see. So that's a, that's another lesson as well. It says, and when it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed 
to his own home, own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. And there you have it, man. Now, it, then it goes on to say the birth of Jesus foretold. Same thing happened. Same. Gabriel went to her and told her what was up. You see what I'm saying? So to say that, you know, Yahweh was born of the Holy Spirit. Of course, you know, the Holy Spirit was dealing with her and Joseph for them to have sex that, to, to, to produce him. You know, but that this, he said basically the same thing to John the Baptist. I mean, um, um, to um, Zacharias. You see what I'm saying? So you trying to tell oh, so so these Zacharias and his wife they're old now. You tell me the the the, the Lord can't place the spirit on Zacharias to have a couple of cups of wine. Her have a couple of cups of wine. They probably was laughing and giggling and playing, and that little youthfulness hit them and came across them, and the Holy Spirit just hit them and, and they got busy, man. The same thing with Joseph and Mary. It's simple, man. But you know, I just wanted to just bring this out and just do a little something on it, because this guy is definitely he's losing his sleep, man. And I've seen him before in certain videos. He got, like I said, he got some shorts. And that's all that he pretty much got. A bunch of bug out shorts, man, talking about the same old thing. And, and, and he can't understand this truth, man. This truth is really hurting these, these Christians, man. You see? So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.